make an easy chocolate fudge sauce. Uh, it only has five ingredients and one of those is water. So it's super simple and you probably have all the ingredients on hand. You can whip it up in a flash for any last minute Sunday situation or um, topping cheesecake or really anything. Just dipping berries in it. I mean, divine. Okay, let's get into it. So chocolate fudge sauce, super duper easy. Um, I know I say that a lot, but I swear these things really are super easy. So, um, you basically, all we're going to do is we're going to combine everything in a pot and we're going to cook it and then we're going to strain it and then we're going to cool it. And that's it. So let's, I like to start with my dry ingredients so that the cocoa powder doesn't just like fly all over the place. So I'll take my cocoa powder. This is Dutch processed. Um, I have my sugar. Whisk. Um, I just whisk those together. You don't actually have to do this stuff. And then I'm going to throw in my spent pods. So those are just vanilla bean pods that I already used the beans for another recipe, like ice cream um, or cheesecake. Just throw them in there. This is salt. Um, I think with chocolate, it's very important that you have a little bit of saltiness uh, to counteract the sweet and just kind of brings out that chocolate flavor. Um, also the vanilla brings out the chocolate flavor. So all of these things are just like super happy together. Um, like the Brady Punch or something. So um, then we're gonna add our water. So we're gonna add our heavy cream. Uh, and then I just like to whisk it to hydrate all of the cocoa powder because it doesn't really like to be hydrated. Um, it's not a giant fan of the process. If you have a high, a high sided pot, that would be actually ideal for this recipe because we are going to let it kind of just sit there and boil. Um, and it is without a doubt going to just like spew chocolate. And then we're going to turn our burner on kind of medium, I would say. Um, it's very important that your your flame is not encasing the sides of your pot because it's going to burn all of that delicateness on the side and well you're not going to be able to get that taste from your chocolate sauce. So just know that and then we're just going to let it cook. So it's, it's going to come to a boil and we're just going to like probably turn it down a little bit and let it boil until it reaches like if you want to be precise about it like 205. Um, on a candy thermometer, but really you're looking for it to be thickened and shiny and silky looking. So it's bubbling and it's beautiful and like it's nice and um, thickened. This is exactly what you want here. We'll just take a bit and we'll put it on here and we'll put it back in the refrigerator. If this was frozen, you could see faster, but. So the key to chocolate sauce is making sure that it is the right consistency. If you take this off too soon, and not enough of the water or you know the liquid from the heavy cream has evaporated, then you're gonna get this like thin sauce. It's still gonna taste delightful. So don't be upset, like you know, if you have a loosey-goosey sauce. But if you want more of a fudgy, you know, thick texture, like on your ice cream or whatever, then you're gonna want to make sure that you you cook it far enough. So remember before where it um it actually overflowed and got like a lava situation all over my my stove top. Damn it. Super glad we caught that on camera. And the good news is that it didn't actually turn on inside, it just overflowed. So if this happens to you, which let's be honest, it probably will at some point in your life. Um, this is not the first time. Then just train, change your pot and you're ready to go. So we're gonna put this back on the heat. Um, and then we're gonna give our other pot a nice little soak and our, and our stove a nice little scrub. <laughs> so exciting. So obviously you wanna avoid that. You also wanna avoid burning your chocolate sauce. So this burns fairly easily um, and you wanna make sure that you are whisking consistently throughout the process to make sure it doesn't burn. And also at some point, I stop scraping the sides, right? So I'm not going around and getting all of that stuff that has been stuck to the sides because sometimes that actually burns, like if the flame catches it. I don't want to incorporate that burnt flavor into my sauce. If your sauce does start to burn, starts to scorch on the bottom, 
you can quickly switch pots and just don't scrape it out. And then you can probably, you can usually salvage the sauce that way, unless it is just so beyond. But the only way to know that is to taste it. So just taste it, make sure it tastes delightful and chocolatey and not scorched, um, and you're good to go. And you can just keep changing your pots. Um, these things happen. So you wanna make sure that when she is ready, you have your chinois, our good friend the chinois, and a bowl to strain it into. You can just tell that mine is done. Um, it's cooked a little bit after this, but you see how it does not run down the plate in any way, shape, or form. I could draw a line through it. Do you see how it's like almost sticky? That's exactly what we want. So we are going to strain, without further ado, we are gonna strain. The only thing that's tricky about a chinois is that, you know, pouring into it can be a bit of a challenge. But you know, if you have a friend, Maybe not a small child, I don't know, but you know, a husband, things of this nature, a roommate. My cat's worthless, so. So just scrape all of that goodness from the bottom. You know, if you did, if you do see any scorched bits, and you'll know, um, just don't scrape them out. Just leave them in the pot. Straining is not altogether necessary, okay? So you could totally not do this, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. There is our beautiful chocolate sauce and she's done. Like if you're gonna use her hot, you could use her right now if you want. But I'm gonna cool it in an ice bath, so in, in a bowl with ice and water, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I am gonna put plastic wrap on the surface because the heavy cream will create that skin, like a pudding or a you know an anglaise for ice cream or something like that. If you're enjoying my video, then go ahead and hit subscribe below so that you don't miss any future videos. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to try it. I mean, let's be honest, I already tried it, but. <laughs> just look at, I just want you to see this just for a second. Like, do you see this chocolate sauce situation here? O-M-G. This is an awfully large bite here that I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do it for you though. I'm gonna do it for you. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's sinfully rich and chocolatey and silky and smooth and like thick, but it still like melts in your mouth. <sighs> Dang. That's good. Get one more for the, one more for the road. What road? Why would you go anywhere? <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm just gonna put this on some vanilla ice cream call it a day.